what's going on everybody and welcome to your 12th jQuery tutorial in which we'll be discussing about a very important event handler in jQuery which is the on event now this is kind of very important uh, when you are doing jQuery at production sites because many a times you have to receive dynamic data and create dynamic HTML and attach event handlers to them so let's see what this method does and why do we need it so let's create a button down here in the body and let's say create a div so in the script we have let's create a function to create a div create a div and let's say var div equals just a normal string div id or let's give it a class d div dynamic div and i am born so this is our function and uh, let's do button dot after div simple enough we are just creating a random string a div and just appending this div to the button which is this button down here cool now let's attach an even handler to the button which would say button on click let's uh, assign this create a div so on clicking this this function right down here would fire so far so good now suppose I want to attach an even handler whenever the person clicks any of these dynamic divs so the method the method you would think to do this would be the class name on click call this div so we have call this div and let's say load you just call me okay so we have this ready and now according to you this event should fire whenever I click this dynamic div now let's see what happens here's the browser let's refresh this let's create div a lot of divs all of these are divs but when you click on any one of them then this event down here is not fired and the reason is because whenever the click event is fired it would look inside the original DOM tree which has not been modified to search for this element so what it would return is that this event would say to the original browser DOM to give me a reference of the element which was typed in the document instead of just created automatically by a script so the original DOM would say that I don't have any element any such element so this event won't call at all to fix this thing we have the on event on event method which works on dynamic content generation as well so let's fix this fix this and let's create d div and basically to call on div on what you have to do is supply document or body or any element which is the parent of the element you want to click for instance document would be the parent of all elements you could also supply HTML or body down here but that should not be dynamically generated so remember this when you're using on the on method then remember that the selector should be already present in the original DOM tree and should be the parent of the function you want to call or the event you want to call for example document would be the parent of this div HTML would be the parent of this div body would be the parent of this div and none of those except these to have access to them so therefore I would use document you could also use HTML or body or whatever you like but I'll just use document dot on now in the first argument we would supply the event the second argument would take the selector and the third argument would take the function so let's fill these three places in the first we want the event to be click 
the second should be the ddiff the selector should be ddiff on which we want to fire this event and the third function should be call this diff as we have already created down here up here basically so we are ready with this now let's see in our browser let's refresh this let's create some diffs so let's click on any of these diffs and as you can see we got an alert box you just call me and now this works on every diff and because now this event attaches to the click event to every dynamic element as well in the document so basically on keyword or on method is very useful when you are doing large projects because many a times you would like to receive dynamic data generation from the user from the client side actually and attach various kinds of events to it so on comes very handy so instead of click you could actually use any event down here like double click or anything you want like mouse over and on is a kind of parent to on evils all events and would work and would make these events work on the dynamic elements as well so that's all for this tutorial and i'll see you then in the next tutorial thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe